Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Donna North High School. Today is Monday, February 13th, 2017, and I welcome you to another beautiful day on our campus. It's wonderful outside, and it's always great to see all of you here on our campus. Excited to work and learn and teach. So I want to start off the morning with our attendance. We were at 91.4% on Friday, and that's about 46 away from our attendance target of 96. The grade level that had the best attendance were, were the sophomores at 93%, and our freshmen were really, really struggling with 89.8. And so, um, freshmen, you know, you guys are going to be testing with uh, both in, or all three actually, are uh, English one, biology and algebra one and so it's real critical that you of all grade levels are on target with making sure that you're taking advantage with all the teaching and learning that's happening on our campus and so as we approach those end of course testing days you really need to make a very concerted effort to make sure that you're here and so I continue to challenge you and teachers, please make sure that we're making those phone calls, asking for those home visits. And uh, the bulk of those uh, truancy court dates are for the freshman class. So we'll continue to monitor that. I want to also talk to the seniors specifically because those deadlines for scholarships are fast approaching. And uh, I wanna make sure that we have plenty of you seniors applying for every single scholarship that we have available here at Donna North High School. And please see your academic counselors, also see Ms. Sosa for those um, applications. There shouldn't be any scholarship that goes without you know plenty of you applying. There's a lot of money out there available and even though it may not seem like a lot, $250, it quickly adds up. So take advantage of all the, that money that's available to you. So please make sure that you are stopping by the table during the lunch hours and uh, asking about those and make sure that you do apply. I wanna also remind all of our students, we have two different contracts that should be monitored by you. One, which we just started very recently, is the Edmentum Progress Monitoring Form. This right here is for all of you who are deficient credits uh, and you need to recover those credits. We now have a way for you to be responsible for the activity as far as the time, the, the time that you spend on Edmentum, the activities that you're completing, and of course, the passing rate that you are currently experiencing with the Edmentum program. Of course, Edmentum was formerly known as Plato, but this is now for you to physically see what you're doing week to week. And then of course, your counselors will also be following up. The very last signature on here will be myself. Why? Because I wanna make sure that I see and congratulate you for making better choices. We also have our time recovery, our buyback program, when you are falling below the acceptable uh, compulsory attendance, you are also doing this on a weekly basis. So make sure that you stay on top of your monitoring forms. Uh, I also want to congratulate uh, this weekend, although we don't have the results yet, but we did have law enforcement competing on Friday at South Padre Island, and we look forward to those results. Those won't be available for another couple weeks. We also had culinary arts program who competed, who competed at La Feria on Saturday. And so thank you 
for representing Donna North High School and we're excited to find out how we fared on the skills competition for CTE. Another CTE program that's competing today is cosmetology and they will be competing in mission. So we look forward to those skills competition results and with those areas you don't find out how you fared until the district meet. So uh, we will keep post, we'll keep all of you posted to see how it is that our uh, CTE programs fared and uh, did over the course of these couple of weeks. I also want to take this moment to congratulate our powerlifting girls team that competed in Hidalgo. And so we had Heidi Rosales, who uh, placed third in her weight class, congratulations. We had Leslie Perez and Tiffany Gonzalez, and they placed fourth in their weight class. We also had Andrea Mendoza and Bianca Aguirre, who placed fifth. And so congratulations goes to all of you, Lady Chiefs, for representing Donna North High School in powerlifting. We also had a very first for Donna North High School. We actually earned a trophy in the tennis uh, program this last Friday. And we had in third place, we had Jessica and Martin, who placed third, as I mentioned, in the mixed doubles. So congratulations to our tennis program for um, a very first trophy win in tennis for Donna North High School. Thank you, coaches, for preparing our students to be successful. What's going on today? Well, we have golf, JV team that is competing away in Edinburgh. We have our boys ninth grade basketball light team who will be competing away today. So good luck to you, uh, Chiefs. And then we also have our baseball programs, our JV teams, baseball and softball, Chiefs and Lady Chiefs who will be competing at home today. And so uh, if I do get those results, I'll be reporting on those. Uh, we'll also stop by and see how everything is going. And I invite all of you to participate and show support for all of our kiddos that are competing on a daily basis around not just our, our high school, but around the valley. And so for now, I remind Donna North High School to have a wonderful Monday. Be humble, work hard, and be kind. See you tomorrow, Donna North. Good morning, John and North. I'm John the Sure Chef. And I'm Enrique Aguillo. And these are morning announcements. We'd like to congratulate Lady Chiefs on the powerlifting meet this past Saturday at Hidalgo High School. Medalists include Heidi Rosales, third, Leslie Perez, and Tiffany Gonzalez, fourth, and Andrea Mendoza and Bianca Aguillad, fifth in the respective weight classes. Participants also gave a great effort, including Arai Serra, Daniela Hernandez, Marita Espinosa, Daniel Rocha, and Damari Salazar. We'd like to thank everyone who went out to support the Lady Chief Powerlifting Team, and we'd like to invite everyone at the last to the last powerlifting meet before regionals. The location will be at Valley View High School this Friday. Go Chiefs! Congratulations to our Lady Chief Soccer Team for an intense win over the Lady Chargers. Elizabeth Reyes forward, number two, scored all three goals, leading our team to a 3-2 victory. Join us tomorrow at Chiefs Stadium as our Lady Chiefs take, out, take on the Lady Tigers of Mercedes. To all seniors, Will you be attending SCC or TSCC this fall? Apply for the Big Valley RV Scholarship for a chance to receive $500. Applications are available in the Go Center. Pick one up today. TSI information. Tutorials are now only required for students that need to retest. First time testers can now sign up for the February 18th exam. Seats are limited and only three testing dates remain. Come by the Go Center for more information. JV Tennis. On Friday, the mixed double teams of Jess Jessica Fluerte and Martin Sosa brought home a third place trophy after defeating a Sherryland team, 10 7, and a 10 point tiebreaker. This was our best finish of the year. They competed against 24 other mixed double teams. Also, NHS in, uh, News. NHS will be hosting a student drive from the 13th to the 24th. If you have genuine issues with men, women, or kids, please bring them to the 822 with Miss Garza Smith. And if anyone's interested in joining NHS, please go by room D118 before school, during season B's, after school to pick up an application. It will be due on the 28th. Also, there will be an FCA meeting on Thursday at the library in the computer lab. There will be a student council meeting on, tomorrow, uh, on Wednesday during season B's at the library and a comic book club, a comic book club meeting on Friday in the... Daughter North continues to bring awareness to National Teen Dating Violence Prevention Month. 
How do you know what a healthy relationship looks like? It means being able to make your own decisions, choose your own friends, be treated with respect, live without fear or intimidation, choose what to wear, change your mind, spend time with family and friends, private use of your computer or cell phone. Both people are equal in the relationship. If you're feeling controlled, manipulated, scared, and your boyfriend or girlfriend spreads rumors about you, tear you down, physically or sexually harms you, or makes you do something you don't want to, you are not in a healthy relationship. Get help. Talk to someone, a friend, a teacher, a counselor, or a trusted adult. You're not alone. Love isn't telling someone what to do or how to act. Love is not abuse. Love is accepting. Thank you guys. It's all for the morning announcements. Remember, go cheese!